Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 24. Wisdom is in the presence of the one who has understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. Well, I think this is a very important verse for our day that we're living in. It's obviously always been an important verse, but especially in the day and age in which we're living. As we know, wisdom is knowing the right thing to do. It's knowing the outcome of a choice, where that choice may lead, as being discerning, being having discernment, and so on. For that to happen, wisdom needs to be present with you in the moment, present with you when that choice needs to be made. Wisdom is of little value on a book on the shelf or anywhere else but in your presence. Wisdom works in our presence right now. That's where wisdom becomes wisdom. Those with understanding know the value of keeping wisdom, God's word, and counsel close at hand, nearby. How many times have we lamented a decision and the lament was, I wish I had known that earlier or sooner, or the famous, now you tell me. I wish I had asked for some insight earlier. I wish I had read that scripture earlier, because it would have been present when I needed the information. The wisdom to make a good choice. Maybe we had a friend who was knows a lot about that decision we choice we needed to make, and he was very skilled in that, or was trained in that. And we should have asked him for advice, but we didn't. But if we had asked him, that wisdom would have been present with us when that choice needed to be made. Wise people keep wisdom close at hand in their presence. It's of little value in hindsight. Wise people are thoughtful people. They proceed cautiously and seek counsel. They want to proceed wisely. Make wise choices. For that to happen, wisdom needs to be in their presence when those choices are being made. And I think this verse also means that wise people are taking care of the things close to them. They bring wisdom to bear on their marriage, their family, their parenting, their work ethic, their spiritual growth. They're paying attention to their own lives their own spouse, their own kids. They're focused on the things near to them and dear to them, the things that are at hand. I think Paul alluded to this in 1 Timothy chapter 4 when he was talking to young Timothy. He says, Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the eldership. Meditate on these things and give yourself entirely to them, that your progress may be evident to all. Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this you will save both yourself and those who hear you. One writer has put it this way. He is to be reckoned an intelligent man that not only has wisdom, but has it ready when he has occasion for it. He lays wisdom before him as his card and compass, which he steers by, has his eyes always on it. That's what the first part of this verse is talking about. But the second part of that verse alludes to the person who's here, there, and everywhere. They're all over the map. His eyes are all over the place. He knows how to fix all the problems in politics. He knows what's wrong with the world. He knows how to fix global warming. He has opinions on everything. He lives to make comments on subjects he knows absolutely nothing about. And Proverbs says this person is a fool. And one writer said, he is a fool and good for nothing, whose eyes are on the ends of the earth, here and there and everywhere, anywhere but where they should be, who cannot fix his thoughts to one subject or pursue any one purpose with anything of steadiness. When his mind should be applied to to his study and business, it's filled with a thousand things foreign and impertinent. He spends his whole life somewhere else, involved in everyone's life but his own. He's home, but he's not home. He's home, but he's not engaged. His mind is a million miles away, solving all the problems of the world, or maybe next door, but not his own. He knows the answers to the marriage problems next door, but not why his own marriage is falling apart. He knows how to parent your child, but his own are are a nightmare. It's far easier to solve other people's problems, to have answers for issues halfway around the world or across the street. It's far easier to have opinions about how to fix those than it is to take heed to your own life. And the fool wants no part of looking at his own life. But he's a master on telling everybody else how to fix their problems. 
But that's the attitude that characterizes the fool. And with the internet, they can span the globe. They can have answers for everything except as to why their wife cries herself to sleep every night. Or his kids won't give him the time of day. Or why he can't hold down a job and maybe he's so busy solving everybody else's problems around the world that he doesn't even notice these things. But does that not sum up so many people in our culture? Experts on everything? Taking heed to everything and everyone except themselves? Expending tremendous amounts of time commenting and arguing about things that do not concern them in the least? Meanwhile, at home, or in their present, everything is falling apart. Wisdom is nowhere to be found, and they're oblivious to the whole thing. Jerry Bridges describes this person this way. His eyes are on the ends of the earth, rolling and wandering from one object to another. His thoughts are scattered. He has no definite object, no certain way of life. Talent, cultivation of mind, and improvement of opportunity are all furted away. He cares about those things that are furthest from him, with which he has the least concern. And how foolish is that? But yet that characterizes so many people in our world today. We spend so much time chasing, chasing rainbows, chasing things that don't concern them, getting involved in things that can, are a thousand miles away with great diligence and great energy. But their own life, their own marriage, their own family is falling apart, but they won't take the time to look at that and think about that and bring wisdom present in their own life. They're just running, globe trotting around the world on the internet, trying to solve all of the world's problems in their own life. Is falling apart. That's called a fool. Wisdom is the presence of the one who has understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. So may this truth guide us and guard us in the trenches of life, which we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.